Hello, everyone. <laughs> We're vlogging today. <laughs> We're only going to look a little bit silly walking around <laughs> campus with a camera in front of our face, but... Today we're going to be reassembling the entire thing and making a video on uh, assembling it and putting together each component and sort of connecting it all and what you would need to build a, a project similar to this. What is necessary to get something that's really good and what's necessary where you can, or what's not necessary where you can sort of cut corners. Yeah, so like we've, we've made five videos so far on the electric go-kart. Um, those are all really good. You should watch them. Mm -hmm. But this video is like sort of the breakdown. So right, this is you... the summation of the right. project. It's like the I built an electric go kart in ten minutes video, but not <laughs> quite. Um, it's like yeah. us putting it back together. So so if you want more detailed content, check out those videos. It has you know the, the whole process. Yes. Um, so we're getting an impact from. Our maker space right now because we lost all of our stuff we didn't actually I, lose I, it but i just put it back in my house and <laughs> i was like i'm done carrying it around every day <laughs> it's missing it's gotta be somewhere in here We struck out there. We're actually filming a nature documentary today. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah. Right in the caves. Okay, so we're gonna go over everything that's on this go-kart one component at a time so that you guys can learn what we did, what's on our go-kart, but this is gonna be the quick, we tell you a little bit about it, we put it back on and then go to the next one because we've already done this like multiple times. Yeah. Anyways, this right here, this little blue box, this is our motor controller. So it's actually pretty expensive. Yeah, this is quite new because um, Build Rick Repeat got it and they had just used it like for a little while. It's really nice because you can program it and Set a lot of parameters. The customer service is really good with this company, all tracks. So definitely recommend this company for motor controller. Motor controller, mounted. Boom. Switch box. All right. So here's sort of our, our wiring harness. This is sort of a custom project to project piece, unfortunately, but there are gonna be some, some elements that need to be the same across all projects. You're gonna have a contactor, which is just a solenoid, um, which you know, regulates your power, your batteries from turning on. Essentially, this is your, your on switch so that, because you can't have a little on switch, have that much current through, flow through it. Um, this is the harness that plugs from our switches into the controller, that plug there, um, all the way down at the bottom is the speed sensor, um, which goes onto our motor and senses the RPM. And then here's just our switches, which, um, turn different things on and off and uh, that's all dependent on your motor controller and how it wants to be wired. Yep. All right, now let's put it on. All 
All right, this is our throttle pedal. We got this pretty cheap on Amazon. We, we were gonna just try to custom make our own with a potentiometer that came with all the stuff Build Break Repeat gave us. Um, but this was cheap enough that we decided it would work because it has all the mounting stuff and it's got a nice pedal um, mm -hmm. and it works. We'll go ahead and slap this right on and it plugs right into our um, wiring harness that goes straight to the motor control. The pedal is mounted. All right, so this is uh, the fuse. This is a like fuse block, and this is the fuse. It's a 500 amp fuse. It's giant, but it does the same thing as a little 10 amp fuse that you have in your car. Um, we have ours mounted here. So mount that up, and then it goes between your battery positive and your contactor positive so you don't overload your circuit. We've never had an issue. Yeah. Just make sure you video yourself. I will. You already can. So I just brought the go-kart outside and threw the tires back on. Now we're gonna put all the heavy stuff on, which is why we took it outside. It's really hard to get it through the door sideways with the batteries and motor. That's like a few more hundred pounds. So um, yeah, I'll show you guys mounting the motor first and then we'll connect the wires from the motor controller back to the motor and go from there. Batteries, that pretty much wraps it up. The first step with um, mounting the batteries back on, or the motor back on, is um, our adjustment for the motor. So it's these um, tie rods and this threaded rod that run through the back here, and that's what adjusts um, the tilt of the motor and the tension on the chain. So we gotta loosen all this stuff back off and then run it through here again, get it all situated. So we just got that um, that mounting rod for the motor back on, and I'm just gonna carry this piece outside and uh, get it back in place. again then tension we sort of messed up the order of the tie rod pieces so it, like none of it was throwing together right which just took us a long time to figure out which is a little embarrassing um but we did figure it out exactly which is that what counts 
we got the wires um, from the motor to the speed controller. I just got the batteries out here um, and we are... <laughs> Why doesn't it... <laughs> we're what? putting the batteries in. Then we're gonna wire those all together uh, back in series. So we'll show you that once, once Ben figures out how to get the batteries in the tray. License plate. Almost forgot the most important part. Back on. Why is Orange just doing that? Because he likes his car. I don't know if it'll hold. Oh, he's probably doing an expansion expansion tank test. <laughs> Sweet. This is the fuse. Um, and so pretty much you just are gonna put it in like that and then there. Let's let's hook that up last. Like don't actually tighten it down. Just swing it out so that mm -hmm. yeah. and then you can just go like that to keep your fuse disconnected. <laughs> it works. Yeah, that's that's how you build an electric go kart in ten minutes. If you want to see some more detailed um, videos on our build, go check out the rest of the channel. We have all the videos of all the different components and a lot of detail on uh, building that and doing custom stuff. So. <laughs> 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 <laughs>